Okay. Hi, I'm Mr. Wayne, and I'm here to show you how to start tomatoes from seeds. Pretty much, uh, you buy these at the at the Home Depot or the garden center, but they don't tell you the really the right way to get them started. So I'm going to show you here really quick of how I do it, and I'll run you through the process. So we always start with our tomato seeds, and we start with a uh, just a, a, one of these little. Uh, salad uh, cup here type things and then we put our, our soil in it. I usually like to use uh, a miracle Grow potting soil even though they don't pay me a commission to say that. But then we uh, will sit and we'll spread our seeds kind of, uh, you know, usually there's not but about 30 seeds in here. Well, I'll put 15 in one of these. Now, as in a few weeks, after it's been moistened and all, they'll grow into something like this. And at this particular point, you're ready to put them into the, your first pot. So again, with your potting mix, you will start it like this. You just simply grab you a pen or a pencil and you poke a hole pretty much down to the bottom of your soil. Waller it out a little bit so you have plenty of room to put your tomato. Then you go in and you just grab one that looks pretty healthy. The reason I do it like this, rather than just put a seed per thing, I will just put it like this. Then I can pick the best ones that I like. And I'll take it out of there, I'll make sure I get all the root I can, and something like that. And it's ready to go inside. And I just push it all the way to the bottom. And I take my pen or pencil and I just make sure that it gets plenty around there. So at this particular point, I'll let it sit in there for a week or so until this grows high again. So they get to this stage like this. And when they get to this stage, you see that they're, again, they're long stems rather than the short stem. This is the big secret with, which the Home Depot and the garden centers do. They will take these when they get large like this, and then they'll take and start them over inside the planter. Because the amazing thing about a tomato plant is the stalk can also become root if the stalk is buried under the ground. So what you do at this particular point, you just dump it all out. Try not to break your stem because the idea is you want to get that back in the pot. So you get all the dirt off of it, get it down to the root, and take everything loose. Try not to break any of the root. Okay, and now it's pretty much ready to go back in. So in this particular uh, time, I put a little soil back in there to start with, just so I have some there that the, the, the root's not there. Now at this particular point, the stalk is bigger than the pot. So you want to put it, and even if you have to fold it a little bit without breaking it, and you put it as far back in there as you can. And you bury as much of that stalk as you can. And you bury some of the lower leaves, it's okay too. You're not gonna hurt it. So you just want the top of it sticking out so it can get its photosynthesis and get to the sun and it'll start growing. Now at this particular point, it's gonna grow twice as fast as it did before because the stem is going to develop into root in a very quick time. So we try to get it out and ready. And now what you'll do is keep this moist and ready to go. And eventually it'll be a big tall, it'll be root locked all in here, it'll be just like you buy, and it's ready to plant. I would say within two weeks. So thank you for listening. This is Mr. Wayne at Wayne's World.